What makes an ideal adventure bike? That's a tough question because adventure bikes today cover a huge spectrum. There's truly something for every type of rider and terrain. But a few bikes manage to strike a balance capable of handling a little bit of everything. They may not be top performers on pavement or dirt, but are versatile enough to handle most scenarios. Honda's Africa Twin is one of those all-around machines. Honda even offers four different Africa Twin models. The Base Africa Twin, the Africa Twin DCT, the Adventure Sports ES, and the Adventure Sports ES DCT. When Honda offered us a long-term test of an Africa Twin for a year, we didn't hesitate. The only question was which model to choose. After some thought, we went with the base model for a couple of reasons. At $14,799, it's the most affordable open-class option, and it also offers a blank canvas we can customize to suit our exact needs. For comparison, other bikes in the class include the Suzuki V-Strom 1050D starting at $16,199, the Yamaha Super Tenera ES at $16,299, KTM's 1290 Super Adventure are at $20,999. The BMW R1300GS at $18,895. Harley-Davidson's Pan America 1250 at $19,999. And Triumph's Tiger 1200 Rally Pro at $22,995. This comparison made it clear that we could customize our base model Africa Twin and still come out ahead financially against most competitors. Plus, it's packed with value for the price. It features Showa suspension with manual adjustability front and rear, cornering ABS that can be disabled at the rear, and tubeless spoke wheels with a 21-inch front and 18-inch rear setup. Perfect for diverse riding conditions. In terms of electronics, the Africa Twin comes well-equipped, featuring six riding modes, two of which can be customized, a large 6.5-inch TFT display, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto connectivity, and cruise control. With a bit of patience, you can disable traction control and wheelie control. The windscreen is also tool-free and easily adjustable, while Honda's accessory catalog offers options like alternative seats, a quick shifter, and a center stand. Before diving into aftermarket upgrades, our first priority was simply to ride it and get a feel for what modifications might enhance the experience. I flew to Cycle World's office in Irvine, California, picked up the bike, and rode it straight back to Colorado. With only a backpack and no luggage, it was clear that adding some storage solutions would be essential. But beyond that, the 1,000-mile journey from Southern California to Colorado was exceptionally comfortable. On the first day, I covered 700 miles, heading to Green River, Utah. With the windscreen set to its highest position and cruise control engaged, riding through a full tank was effortless. Cruising at 85 miles per hour through Utah's scenic 80 miles per hour zones, I could relax and enjoy the view as the red rocks flew by. However, at that pace, fuel consumption dropped to around 40 miles per gallon. Back in California and Colorado, with lower speed limits, fuel economy improved to about 50 miles per gallon. Once in Colorado, I took the bike on some familiar twisty back roads and dirt trails. It was here I realized the first upgrade needed was a more aggressive set of tires for off-road. The stock Michelin Anarchy Adventure tires are excellent on pavement, but lean heavily towards street performance. Since bringing the bike back to Colorado, I've added another 600 miles and am getting a clear sense of the upgrades we want to make. The aim isn't to transform it into a dedicated off-road machine or a road-oriented tour. Rather, we want to enhance its versatility in both areas while preserving its balanced character. We've already made some progress. First, we installed a set of SW Motec Sysbag WP Soft Saddlebags. Installation was straightforward, with the parts aligning seamlessly. This setup uses a pair of base racks that bolt onto the Honda's stock mounting points, and the soft bags attach securely to a rigid backing plate with hardware that connects to the racks. So far, our initial impression is highly positive. These bags are well made with top-notch materials and thoughtful features. Our next upgrade was a set of Double Take Mirror's latest adventure mirrors. These mirrors are fully adjustable, providing excellent rear visibility, and can be folded out of the way for off-road riding. The updated arms are designed in-house and feature large adjustment knobs, making it easy to fine-tune and secure the mirrors. With a universal mounting kit, 
These mirrors are compatible with most adventure and dual sport bikes, meaning they can transition to a new ride without needing a new bolt kit. We also picked up a few sets of tires to test, including Dunlop's Trail Max Raid, designed with a 4060 Dirt to Street tread pattern, and Metzeller's Caru 4, which is Metzeller's most aggressive ADV tire without being a full dirt bike knobby. So we'll try both out and see what works best for the type of riding we plan to do. We also just ordered up Rabon Conda's brand new street tire changer that is designed to easily change street, ADV, and dirt bike tires on one well-thought-out contraption. Now it's time to stop talking and keep riding and see how the mods we've made work and figure out what else our Africa Twin needs. Next spring, we'll hit the Colorado BDR and see how our Africa Twin holds up. Total mileage, 2,215 miles. The 2024 Honda Africa Twin continues to offer impressive performance, blending road capability with off-road versatility. Powered by a 1,084 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, it delivers a smooth and responsive power band that makes it equally at home on highways and dirt trails. The engine produces around 101 horsepower and 77 LEFT of torque, providing a good mix of power for both long-distance touring and tackling challenging terrain. The bike's performance is also enhanced by a lightweight chassis, which contributes to nimble handling and improved agility. Whether you're navigating tight corners on paved roads or negotiating rocky paths off-road, Honda's selection of advanced electronics helps optimize the Africa Twin's performance across different riding conditions. With six riding modes, two of which are customizable, the bike can easily adapt to varying conditions, allowing riders to fine-tune settings for different surfaces and terrain. Its cornering-enabled ABS and traction control system, TCS, provide extra confidence when riding on slippery or uneven surfaces. The inclusion of a 6.5-inch TFT display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto connectivity, and cruise control adds a level of comfort and convenience, especially during long rides on highways. The Africa Twin suspension setup is another standout feature in terms of performance. The bike is equipped with Showa's fully adjustable suspension, both front and rear, offering a smooth ride on paved roads and allowing for adjustments to tackle more rugged off-road trails. While the base model offers manual adjusters, riders can expect a high level of customization to suit their specific riding needs. This makes the Africa Twin a solid choice for those looking to balance performance on both asphalt and dirt without sacrificing comfort or control. Off-road performance is where the Africa Twin really shines, maintaining Honda's reputation for producing highly capable adventure bikes. With its 21-inch front and 18-inch rear tubeless-spoked wheels, the bike offers great traction and stability on loose or uneven surfaces. While the stock Michelin Anarchy Adventure tires are more street-oriented, 